Yo, what's happening? What's happening? This is your boy, Roger Cook, a.k.a. DJ Cook'em Up. And today, on Louisiana Unleashed, we got my good friend, high school classmate, Derek Taylor. We're going to be talking about career path for the youth, and also we'll be speaking a little bit on education for our adults also. So, welcome to the show, Mr. Taylor. Thank you. Thank you man. for having me. Thank you for yeah. having me. Yeah. Uh, well, you could just ask, man. Give us, give us some uh, uh, background information on you, man. We know you military. Give us a little bit of information on on, on where you're from and, okay. and everything. All right. Yes. Uh, again, my name is Derek Taylor. I'm, I'm from the area. Um, lived in Independence. Currently living in Independence. Raised in a little sub community of Amy called Shiloh, and uh, attended Amy High School. And uh, and a, is a graduate of Amy High School. Graduated in 1986. Uh, 1987, I uh, joined the military uh, in the Army, spent 20 years in the United States Army, and retired at the age of 39 in 2007. I'm currently JROTC instructor at Hammond High School in Louisiana and La Ronja. I've uh, been teaching for, for 12 years now. Okay, so I'm going to get into it, this, this, this career path for the youth. I was excited about it. He, he, he gave me a lot of information on it. I'm 51, and I didn't know. A, a smidgen of it, so it's going to be some information put out to you guys here. We're not going to give you everything, but we're going we're going to initiate some programs, and we're going to we're going to get on it, and we're going we're going to do it. So uh, let's let's get into it. Uh, as far as the career path for uh, how do how do they get into some of the stuff that you were talking about? Okay, uh, the career path that you're speaking of uh, here in in our school system, uh, we call it the CTE program, uh, Career Technical Education, uh, and they call it Louisiana Jump Start. And it's, um, it's basically uh, what we used to know as industrial art, but now it's vocational um, skills that we're giving to our youth uh, by way of, of, of our high schools. Right. Um, you know, we have different, different, different careers that the kids can pursue and, and receive a certification before going into the workforce. Okay. Okay, now, is this at every high school, or this is just... Particular high schools? No, this is at it's at every high school. Actually, Louisiana wide, and our uh, district is participating in it as well. Uh, kids can take welding, and in all actuality, we have two of the best welding programs here in our parish: uh, Independence High and Punchatoula High School. They compete in welding um, competitions, and and normally you see Independence and Punchatoula High. Uh, placing in, in exactly. those competitions. So that's statewide, the best State, statewide. Statewide, wow. statewide. See, we we don't this kind of information. We need. We mm-hmm. don't have this information. We don't know about it. We don't see it in newspapers mm-hmm. or nothing. So, yeah, that's some good stuff. Uh, the, the other stuff like the, you said welding. What else? What other kind of uh, mm-hmm. career path stuff they have? They have welding. They have um, HVAC, uh, heating and air conditioning, refrigeration. In high school. In high school, and really? if the high school is not offering it. The, um, some of the high schools provide, provide transportation to a local tech school, like North Shore Tech or the, the technical school that's out in Greensburg. They will transport the kids there to pursue that, that career path. And, and what it is, um, a kid basically, by the time they turn, uh, reach their 10th grade year, they have to declare what pathway they choose, be it uh, the the university track or the vocational track, the CTE track, and okay. um, and then they just start after the tenth grade year, start taking those classes to to achieve those certifications. Because they said I actually have two years of, of, of actually getting the training and, and the skills. So yes. they actually have two years. That's real before they even get out of high school. That's right. Amazing. Right. Right. Two and years in. Wow. Right. And we definitely cool. need to um, make sure that our kids are aware as well as our parents. So um, the kids can make an informed decision on what career path they want to choose. Okay, do they have like do they have like career path like uh, some kind of place they can go to get this information and find out what they really want to do? Or do they have that set up yet? 
Yes, actually, they should be able to talk with their with their counselors, their school counselors. But what we want to try to do is develop some kind of uh, source of information for the kids. Um, and once they choose that that path route, to kind of partner them with uh, somebody that's already pursued that 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 path to kind of help them along the way, give them the steps that they need to in order to become successful in that game. In other words, like if they wanted to go to the military or they wanted to go to uh, the Navy, uh, military, uh, get in the workforce like welding or carpentry, you would have, I'm trying to set up these programs where you'll have people to go to talk to it. Exactly. Outside of the school? Outside of the school setting. Okay. So if we have someone that's uh, looking to pursue the military, okay, you can talk to myself. You know, right. I spent 20 years in the military, and uh, I'm not a used car seller. I'm not a car right. seller. I'm not going to just try to tell you the good. I'm going right. to give you the good, bad, and the ugly. Right. And you can make an informed decision on if that's, you know, the career right. path for you. Or if you want to become a lawyer, we have some lawyers that you can talk to so they can give you the steps to take to become a lawyer or a doctor, okay. give you the steps, uh, you know, whatever career path you want to have. Uh, we'll be reaching out to get those people from those different career paths to be to act as mentors. Cool. Okay, so they'll actually be mentors. They'll they'll help them through the whole process. The whole process. Okay. The whole process. That was that's amazing, amazing. Now we we talked about that. Now these these athletes. Yes. We got it's was wide open now for tangible prayers. These athletes. Right. I, I mean. I mean Man, they're yeah. going to some big schools now. Exactly. And yeah. uh, at uh, Tangible Paris, we've always had good athletes. Right. We just didn't have that that outlet right. like some of these kids now. And um, and I would advise some of the kids to kind of be mindful of, uh, you know, uh, how you advise or who advise you. And, uh, you know, don't shun the information, but, you know, be receptive of the information. Then once you receive that information, you analyze it and make an informed decision based on your heart and your right. desires. Um, I'd like to share a story. A friend of mine texted me the other night, and, you know, basically telling me, uh, hey, Derek, be careful where you get your advice from. And it was a, in reference to a story of a young man by the name of Spencer Haywood. Uh, back in 1973, he played for the Los Angeles Lakers. Right. His agent, well, Mr. Spencer was uh, was presented with, uh, with the contract. He'd accept $100,000, or 10% of a startup company. Right. Mr. Spencer's agent advised him to take the $100,000. Right. But it was 10% of a startup company called Nike. Called Nike? Called Nike. <laughs> yeah. Today, this, the story was just published in July. Today, that 10% would be worth $12.4 billion. Wow. And so I'm he, pretty sure Mr. Spencer is living in regret <laughs> and wanted to... Uh, uh, Probably wanted to go back and talk and to his agent exactly yeah. and say, hey, you know, pretty sure that the agent had something to gain at that time, right. you know, 10, 15 percent. I have a much, you know, an agent right. or a manager get. But uh, I just would advise our kids because our kids, we got some serious athletes and they're going right. to major stages. So to to don't shun information, receive the information. Uh, and there's three things you could do with the information. Use it, store it or simply ignore it. Yeah. But uh, you take the information, process it, and make an informed decision based on your heart. You know, um, I, w- I would advise you to first seek God, first seek God, and, and, and then make a decision so you won't live in regret. So we right. know we got a lot of kids that are that made some, I would say, some informed decision that are probably living in regret, right. living in regret right here in Tangsville, Paris. Yeah. So, but that hundred thousand dollars you said to some of the kids that's going to pro, they never saw it. It's like that's. A lot of money, but to, to some of the companies that will give you that, it's like, a, I'm going to give you a penny, and, right. and we got your name, and we can use your name on different things. I mean, you the, the information on percentages compared to money, a, a lot of kids don't understand that. And like, you know, like in the music industry, they don't understand that. that. And that's what, what we want to develop, right. to be able to, to make a kid understand, you know, before they make a decision, come to... Uh, our uh, said location to get some information so okay. they can make an informed decision, an informed, rational decision. So later on in life, they won't uh, possibly live in regret. Okay. Now, you said uh, we talked earlier about uh, a career fair, a career gathering that you're trying to do. You could give us some information on that. Yes. Um, back to the CTE program is um, 
we are striving for March the second, and it has a significant meaning. Uh, we wanted to to sound the alarm and call those those all these different industries out, uh, people that works in industries, and bring them to a set location as well as bring the kids there, and kind of um, do a breakout session and kids that want to pursue a particular career path, we can partner them up with that with that individual. Okay. And they can kind of talk to them and speak to them and kind of let them know the ins and outs about that particular career path. So and we and look at it to be, be a breakout session. Okay. We call it a breakout session. We bring them, bring them to a set location and then if you want to join the military, if you're looking to pursue the military, hey, go, go over here in this corner and talk with Derek. If you want to be a doctor, go over here and talk with uh, maybe a, a, a Dr. DeWan Mabry. Uh, you know, it's like a career day with a twist. Right, career day with a twist. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Derek, and I just want to talk to you about this uh, this program that we're planning on um, presenting to the community uh, uh, around the March second uh, date. Uh, this program is uh, is basically an, uh, a breakout session, something that I thank God put on my heart to kind of uh, present to the community. And what this is. Is, uh, is basically uh, developing some partnerships with some industries uh, where our kids can come and, and try to uh, be directed in whatever career path that they're choosing. Uh, for example, if we have a kid that desire to become a doctor, we want that kid to be partnered with a doctor so he or she can give the kids the steps to, uh, to pursue the career path of a doctor. If, if the kid desire to be a, a welder or a lawyer or pursuit of military, we would have someone from that industry to be able to talk to our kids to direct them in that direction. And so um, I think it's one thing to um, to tell a kid uh, to, to pursue a career path, and it's a whole nother, uh, another animal when we teach them or show them the steps along the way to become um, uh, successful in that particular career path. Okay, so... Um, uh, again, we're, we're looking at uh, March the 2nd, and uh, that March the 2nd has a significant date, and that uh, is basically March to success, March to success. And uh, we're still in developmental stages. Again, that's something that's been, been placed on my heart for, you know, some years now, but now it's time to blow the trumpet um, and, and start to, treat, uh, to create um, a source of information for our community um, we will have uh, information for the kids and adults, so we're welcoming uh, our youth and, and our adults alike. We will have programs for adults because I understand now, being the age that I am, it's still some things that I would like to pursue, uh, and but just don't know, or don't don't have the resources. Yeah, and it would be much easier if I could be partnered with someone that's already been pursued that uh, that particular career path that can point me in the right direction. So. Uh, we understand that we do have some adults that, you know, that have some dreams that they would like to fulfill, you know, before, you know, God calls them home. So we, our adults, we wait, welcome our adults and, and children alike. So everybody is welcome. Everybody is welcome. I don't know if, if this is, um, if it's original or if it's the first of its kind. I don't know it's, uh, it's, it was placed on my heart. And I see the need for it because I work in a school system and uh, I see a lot of our kids that really don't have a direction. Uh, they don't know um, what to do or, or where to go, to go to for that source of information. So uh, working in the school system for 12 years and, and we're sending our kids uh, after they uh, graduation, we're sending them out into the workforce and they're not prepared. So um, we're trying to be more proactive instead of reactive. Uh, it's, uh, catch them early. So they can make a, a, a informed decision on their career path because we're asking them to make a, a decision on their careers early as 14 and 15 years old. So we want to help them make that decision. And one of the ways that we can do this is um, in the school system, we uh, offer the ASFAB. And a lot of people are kind of kind of, kind of torn about the ASFAB because they think it's, we're trying to put kids in the military. But the ASFAB is a, an aptitude test. It's a, an aptitude vocational and battery test where a kid can see where their, their strengths are and where their weaknesses are, and it can help them pursue a certain career path that they didn't even know 
that they were qualified for that they possibly didn't even know existed. So we would advise all of our kids to take the, the ASFAB, you know. So we're, we're not trying to put our kids in boots and send them to the military. We're just trying to put the military mindset in our kids. Uh, it was it was great for me. I, I was a knucklehead running to and fro out this parish, and, you know, and the military did me some good. Uh, so we know everything is not for everybody, and the military is not for everybody, but let's use that source uh, and their resources to help develop our kids. As many careers, we're going to have as many careers as possible. Uh, again, um, if it's uh, people that would like to work in the uh, the, um, the police, uh, uh, the police department, the, the fire department, uh, in the medical department, uh, you know, it, it doesn't matter. The military, the, the, uh, the construction, we're going to reach out and develop these industry partners. So, uh, again, to provide our kids with the source of information they need in order to make an informed decision about their career. Okay, again, my name is Derek Taylor, and um, um, if we have anyone's any 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 people that's out there that's that would like to be a part of this uh, on the mentor side as well as just seeking for information, you can contact me at my cell 504-669-2467 or you can email me at Derek.Taylor22 at Yahoo.com. That's Derek D-E-R-R-I-C-K dot Taylor T-A-Y-L-O-R, the number 22 at Yahoo.com. And uh, we're looking to, to make this a success. Yeah. L.A. Unleashed. Yeah.